I would split your throat for a million dollars. I would literally split your throat. I would have sportsmanship up into the fact that I wrestled the knife out of your hand and then I'd kill you. Who knows? Brendan. Erickson Krauss. Brendan. Brendan. You sound too sober doing that. Um... <laughs> Hello, everybody. We're back from the reality rally, and I'm in HD, and John's not. Forgot his camera, but we have <sighs> Jane with us because she's going to talk about what show are we talking about? Amazing Race, <laughs> um, week seven and eight, and we have so much to get to, so much to fill we you guys do. Now. Of course, you know the deal. You can follow me over at Twitter. I'm at Reality Recaps, and you're with me. Hey, guys. It's John Richardson, Comedy Jonah here. I know what show I'm on. Sometimes Eric does not. But you can follow me at Comedy Jonah for all the details. Hi, it's Dana. I'm so excited to be here to talk about Amazing Race and not Big Brother for once. You can follow me on Twitter at dgoodyear1975. Yes, now I figured we needed to bring Dana on today because while we're going to talk Amazing Race, I want to talk a little bit about Reality Rally, and Dana was a huge part yes, of that. Huge. But John, we also need to roll back, and I know you're going to talk about uh, the previous week's Amazing Race while we were away. But first, right. but first in my Julie Chedness, I just want to remind everybody super quickly, like Dana said, she's covering Big Brother Canada, so you need to check out her blogs on the website. The links will be below. John is doing vlogs of... Um, tell the people what you're doing vlogs of, John. I'm doing... Them. I'm catching up on all my RuPaul vlogs. I'm... Uh, a couple behind. I'm catching up this week. I'm also doing um, Housewives of New York, and Zach is blogging. I'm vlogging. And then Zach and I are also kind of teaming up to do Orange County because Orange County looks so good. So those also start this week with blogs and blogs by John and Zach. Oh my God, it's so exciting. And I, for those of you that don't know, am reading the Bravo Housewives blogs as a podcast that you can download in iTunes or Stitcher, or you can just listen to it right on the website. I know, it's very funny. Um, and I'm not, it's not our blogs, it's literally the Housewives blogs from BravoTV.com that I'm just reading for right. you and you interjecting. You don't have to drive looking at your phone. You right. Can, you can just listen to the sweet voice of Eric Curdo as he reads the vlogs of the Housewives on your way to wherever you're going. I love it. They're hilarious. I they can are. listen to I you all day. Not, maybe I, not look at you, but I can listen to you. Yeah, I don't interject a lot because I really want it to people to get it straight. But I don't read them before, so I'm experiencing them with you, and sometimes I just can't control my commenting. Eric, so yeah, uh, you're just trying to develop your voiceover reel. Just be honest with everyone. I already have a voiceover reel. So we <laughs> yeah, do those for Real Housewives of New York and Orange County. Of course, you can see all of our Bravo content at yourrealityrecaps.com slash Bravo. Dana's stuff is at slash bbcan. Um, of course, Melissa's blogging Amazing Race and Survivor and King of the Nerds. And we have a lot more huge surprises coming up for you guys soon. But let's get to what you all want to hear us talk about. And then we're going to talk Reality Rally at the end a little bit. John... Fill the people in on what happened on The Amazing Race while we were away at the reality rally, because I heard know, it was good. It was really good, and of course the episode was all about the Brenchels, right? And, mm -hmm. you know, literally as the episode happened, not last night, but the Sunday before, we were actually kind of at reality rally with the Brenchels, and, <laughs> you know, due to scheduling conflicts, we really wanted to surprise everyone with a recap with the Brenchels after the episode all about Brenchels. It was going to be an action-packed. Unfortunately, it didn't work out, but of course, we still love them. So, you know, no hat, no worries there or whatever. Our hat's off to them. But, you know, it was a really funny episode. It was with the chariot races. With They had to do the remote control, and you wouldn't think it wouldn't be, you know, as, as tough, but it was. 
But, you know, just to fast forward, because I know we have a lot to talk about with this episode. The Brinchels did come in first. They won a really fabulous trip. I forget where. But, yes, it was good. It was good. Here, here's my favorite part, because I didn't see the episode. I okay. knew what happened. You understand their last name is not Brenchel, thus they would be the Brenchels. It's right. just Brenchel. But I didn't know if in the episode people were calling them the Brenchels, and that's why you were saying <laughs> it, or if you were just a little loopy. It's me. I'm loopy. Okay. Well, we, we love a loopy. Now... We, you are right. We need to get into this week because I have so much to say, so much to talk about, and two more super quick notes. John, I might want to do something with you for Real Housewives of Atlanta because I have a lot to say about that reunion. Oh my God, a lot to say, but we're not going to do that here. I also just want to let everybody know really quickly, check out our patron ad in the sidebar on our website. If you guys are interested, it's a great way to support us. You can do a monthly fee of like $1, $5, $10, anything you want. Cancel anytime. We give away swag if you sign up and we like give you links to a special forum with exclusive content. So much stuff. Check it out in the sidebar. It's our patron campaign. It's the new way to help support our shows and all the fun stuff we have coming up for you guys. Now, 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 let's get to Amazing Race. Yes. With Brendan and Rachel. The Brendan. Who are starting first because they came in first last week. Yes. And Joe, oh my goodness, what are we thinking right off the bat as we are starting this episode with Brendan and Rachel in first? What are, what are our thoughts? I'll throw it to you first, Dana. Uh, I don't know. I'm... <laughs> Remember our pre-show talk. There's the mute fancy. button. There's the mute button. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. They're fine. You know. Right, they're mm-hmm. fine. We Dana, they're not, don't they're ever... Not, they're not my favorite. I'll just, they're not my, you know who my favorite is. Yes. He knows who it is. Dana, don't ever play poker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Duh, as a play poker. Go All right. <laughs> okay. Here, I'll say this then. I'll give us the jogging point. So obviously, Brendan and Rachel starting in first. Mm-hmm. Right behind them are the blondes and Dave and Connor. And we see once again, Lord, it's been two weeks we've had off, but uh, the blondes still need help to do everything. And everybody is still willing to help them. Who it cares? Helps. They're doing it. They're still there. I'm yeah. liking the blondes. I don't care. I don't oh, care. you're an idiot. I'm liking the blondes. You're an idiot. <laughs> I'm a blonde now, so uh. I like the blondes. I would have no problem with the blondes if their whole thing on Twitter wasn't girl power, we're so strong, we can do anything, we're number one. No, you oh, can't. Gosh. I am so, uh, people are probably so sick of the rainbow flag that we're flying around all the time. Who cares? They're still in the race and they're still doing good. Girl power. Are you meeting with them later <laughs> or do you have lunch date? I am right after this. Okay. Just checking. I don't know what, <laughs> no one all that's happening. That we're best friends with that, or maybe we have to be now. Who knows? Um. So right. So we see that Dave and Connor are willing to help the blondes, but then, oops, they get separated, and the blondes have to do something for themselves. So that was a little interesting. And then we go right into the friggin' detour. We're like two minutes into this show, and we're in the detour. That's how you know it's going to be a good episode. So the detour was donkey run or donkey build. You had to build a stupid wooden donkey in Geppetto's factory or ride a horse around the ring, a donkey, a jackass, if you will, around the (laughs) ring three times. So let's discuss this detour right off the bat, John. What would you have done? Build the donkey, ride the donkey. Oh, I don't know. Probably write it. I'm really good at writing things. <laughs> so I would have wrote it. <laughs> okay, what would you have picked, Dina? <laughs> I, I wouldn't have wrote a donkey, no. I would have built one. No, you would have built a jackass For and sure. not rode one. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I build jackasses. I don't ride them. See, I've ridden jackasses, so I'm good at it. 
there were some jackasses riding jackasses on this episode. <laughs> but let me say this. Let's talk about Brendan and Rachel trying to ride these donkeys around the ring. I was cracking up with Rachel, like, holding on to the donkey it's, and being like, yeah. I, can't, I can't stay on. Move, Brendan, move. Well, it's hard to stay on with sequence shorts because I'm usually in a sequence gown. But, you know, when you're wrapping to the side and you're holding on to, the, like, the side of the head, oh, my gosh, I couldn't stop laughing. It was so funny. Keep was, going, Brendan. Keep going. Keep going. Well, I mean, it looked really hard to get on those donkeys. Oh, I mean, it did look hard Lord. to get on. Oh, please. Well, Brendan's like a giant, although apparently not taller than me. I'm very confused. I had one whole image of Brendan before this reality rally where I thought he was like this giant think, god. You think you're like this big and I you're know. not. You're I not. Know. But, but see, I think I'm as big as you <laughs> and I'm not. Well, so, yeah. I thought it was very interesting with the riding of the donkeys, but again, clearly, I was shocked that Brendan and Rachel picked this challenge right off the bat when we know you don't work with animals. If you have a choice, don't work with animals. They got lucky. Look at the Globetrotters their first time around. They couldn't get those donkeys to move for anything. I don't know why seasoned reality TV vets like Brendan and Rachel would have went right for the animal challenge. But Well, obviously, I, they're having trouble building things, too. I mean, can we please reread the glue? It's got to hold firewood. <laughs> like, how, how is that puzzle going to hold firewood without the cage thing? But I can see that being a little bit confusing, I have to say. I can say no. I don't know that I would have gotten um, it. I thought they had to put it on top of the crates before they... See, cleaned. this is why you should ride the animals and not build them. <laughs> uh, well, you would be there to yell at me, so I'm sure we'd figure it out. Oh my God. I would beat you with the animal. <laughs> <laughs> Probably exactly what you would do. Um, so now we also saw a little bit, and I'm just going to put this disclaimer out here right now. And I'm going to say, I don't know anything. If I did know anything, I wouldn't be trying to ruin it all for you. So this <laughs> is just my guess. And I've said this all along. I feel like this is a very telling episode if you follow Big Brother editing. It's very clear to me who the final three are going to be this episode and probably who wins. Because the last four seasons, right around this episode, we always get drama between two teams, like yeah. a Brenton and Rachel and a Dave and Connor. And the one that gets the negative edit is usually well, the one that... Well, it's ooh. also, too, if you have a good positive edit, like, you know, Rachel and, and Brendan did last week. And this oh. week, and then I knew it. I was like, uh-oh, it's going to be a bad edit this week. And it... Mm. I didn't think it was a great edit, but I feel like, again, this is the whole backpack BS that they made up last season, where Tim and Marie took the backpack, and then Karma turned around and made Amy and, and what's-his-face win the race. I have a feeling that's what just happened this episode, with Brendan and Rachel not helping Dave and Connor where to get their hats. What do we hats. think of that? What do we think of that? Because, I mean, you know, it, it, Rachel didn't want to detour them. She wanted to detour someone else. Brendan is the one that insisted on that because they were just right behind them. But then, you know, Dave and Connor are like, oh, but I'm an old man. Burp, burp, burp. You know, do who would you have detoured, Eric? Well, let me say this first because it's from one of our favorites. It is from Michael. And I he says, Michael. I don't understand all the helping and getting so mad about being U turn. It's a damn race for a million dollars. I would tie you to that damn donkey. And I, raced, I raced with Michael during the reality rally, and he would. He would. I know. He and would. by he the would way, have tied me and Helen to the donkey, <laughs> and Melissa. Oh. <laughs> Everybody. Uh, and that Everybody. edited footage is going to be up this week, so stay tuned for that. Um, here's what I want to say. I completely agree with Michael. I, I don't understand why Dave and Connor are so pissed. Brendan and Rachel only knew for sure where one team was, and it was Dave and Connor, and they knew they were directly behind them. They weren't going to risk you turning a team that could have somehow been ahead of them, because the, the Cowboys had the express pass 
So they weren't sure if they used it. I get that, but I mean, I'm also noticing even with past um, amazing races that you kind of have, you want to, I mean, yes, it's a race and I get it, but you also want kind of this kind of sportsmanship because you don't know when they'll need it. They could need it next week and then Dave and Connor are like, bye bye, Brenchel. You know? Brenchel knows nobody's helping them on this race. They know they need to be out for number one. None of these teams are going to help them and it's a million dollars. Stop helping. Maybe be a little nicer and people would. Uh, I would split your throat for a million dollars. I would literally split your throat. I would have sportsmanship up until the fact that I wrestled the knife out of your hand and then I'd kill you. Well, okay, Dana, weigh in. What are, you, what, are you think, what are you thinking on how Brenchel handled the U-turn? Was it gameplay or would, was it... That's gameplay. Like, they're right there. You, like, if you want to come in first and win the prize, like, and, and at this point now, you want as much time between you and someone else as you can possibly get, even just to start the next leg. So, yeah, it's, it made perfect sense. And Dave and Connor are whining little... You know what's about it. Like, this is a game. If they were at first and Brentel was behind them, they would have done exactly the same thing. They can just shut up. I'm about to U-turn both of you. Oh, yeah, hold on. Let me just write this down. So that uh, Dana's <laughs> siding with me. I'm right. Right. I'm writing up. Okay. Now, look. Cindy Michael Jensen, and I are going to detour you. Uh, Michael also agreed with us, but just in case you're keeping track. Hell um, on. Cindy anyway. Jensen says, Brenchel didn't get a bad edit. Everyone on Facebook and Twitter is hating Dave. Um, I disagree with you on that, Cindy. I think you probably just follow a lot of Brendan and Rachel fans, so you're seeing a lot of hate for, uh, hate for Dave. But that was a bad edit for Brendan and Rachel. They were making Rachel seem a little bit snotty when we get mm-hmm. to the um, calligraphy roadblock and that was not a happy Brendan and Rachel edit and like I say just like in the past four seasons that we've seen they always create this one moment of conflict between two teams which later on will play back as and that's why the team that won won and you'll never see the winning team get a negative edit so that also makes me think Brendan and Rachel didn't win so I'm saying It's my theory, which I will also say, I tweeted out a picture. I did not come up with this, but you guys can go look in my timeline um, at Rally to Recaps. Somebody took the casts from the past four seasons and lined them all up in a row. The winners are directly in the middle. Like, directly in the middle of all four pictures, it's the winners. (laughs) So if we're believing that picture, Dave and Connor are winning this season. I, I can't believe CBS would do that. Would look at genius is the person that thought of it. Oh my gosh! Is this our last recap? No, I mean I don't Amazing. know. <laughs> well, I, CBS, we just announced the winner. <laughs> I, well, we don't know one hundred percent that it's true. CBS could try and be tricking us, like they're trying to make us think how it's not Big Brother All Stars, and I say it's true. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. So, donkey time, right. Brendan and Rachel won't help Dave and Connor and then get to that U-turn, and they decide to U-turn, obviously, Dave and Connor, and Dave's a little crybaby. Ooh, I'm old. Look, you're on the race, buddy. Relax. Stop playing your cards. However, I thought it was interesting that the Cowboys did not use their express pass, We're right now behind Dave and Connor, who, again, still don't know who else is behind them. They don't know. Maybe We watched the same show. They did use their express pass. Oh, the cow... They did. They didn't ride the donkey or build the donkey. They used the express pass. Oh, I thought... This was the last time they could use it. Of course they had to use it. Okay, it was the Express Pass, not the other one. I was thinking it was the Go. You want to just put the logo up on your window, and then Dana and I can just continue. <laughs> sure, sure. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> We're waiting. Lots of people want to come. Okay, I guess I'll take the show back over. Okay. Uh, yes, Michael, I agree with you. Uh, he said he witnessed John race not playing nicely. 
either. So you didn't play, you didn't race Me? nicely with Michael either during the reality Me? reality. I was nice. I was nice. Oh, I have video which proves otherwise. I um, show it, so. Just get yeah. ready, everybody. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of this. Good. But I know, but Michael had had one thing where he was shooting a gun, so I'm gonna be nice to Michael. <laughs> He's a good shot. Yeah, I, but, all right, I've got, there's so much I want to say about it, but we're gonna save it for the end. Um, so Dave and Connor, they don't U-turn uh, the Cowboys right behind them. Instead, they U-turn Leo and Jamal. And once again this season, I'm loving. Leo and Jamal, right off the bat, they're like, what are we going to do? Are we going to be bitter about it? Are we going to fight? Are we going to get nasty? Or are we just going to enjoy the race and keep going? In the middle of being you turn uh, uh, yes. love them. Go ahead, go, go. No, no, even the last... Blah, 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 I'm so excited can't to talk. Say, can't say no, I'm so excited no, to talk, talk because you don't want me to talk. Last <laughs> season of the Amazing Race, nobody liked them, but I love them, and I love them even more this season. And I'm just shocked because I would assume, like, as happy go lucky as they are, I thought like the Brinchel would be kind of more like that too. But but they're pretty competitive. They're super competitive, one hundred percent. They're super competitive, and yeah, but. I liked how they took their U-turn in stride, and they were like, this is the game. What are we going to do? Get nasty? And they're on that bridge, and they're like, look, let's stop it and just enjoy this moment for a second in the but midst of all that. But they were with Dave and Connor, and Dave and Connor were like, listen, we U-turned you. Sorry, but let's do the next challenge together. Sportsmanship. That's what I'm talking Or hypocrite, because Dave and Connor cry babies that Brendan and Rachel did it, but they have no, for the same exact reason, yet have no problem with um, doing it to somebody else. So it's okay when it, when they're doing it, but not when it happens to them? Is that what you're saying? Well, I think you should do it for someone. So like if the Brenchel doesn't like the, the blonde girls, right? Well, then do them, but you know... They, she, they didn't know where the blondes were. All the guarantee they behind had. Behind them. They were in they front. They were in first place. Everyone's behind them. Okay, let's you, let's detour like a, a 60-year-old man and his son. Okay, or why don't you just get rid of the <sighs> Oh, my God. Like anyway. Are you really by up, uh, people? It's at Comedy Jonah if you want to send your email <laughs> to. Oh, ridiculous. No, no, no. It's a million dollars, John, and you make the safe bet. There's only two episodes left, I think, to the finale, and they're aware the way the legs are going. They wanted a first place check-in right now. Why are you praying? Huh? You were inspired by this episode? It was my my Easter prayer. It's a little late. Okay, great. So I also love how the blondes finally arrive as, you know, everybody's trying to put the donkeys together. And they're like, what happened? What what happened, Dave Connor? What happened? And Dave's like, oh, oh, we lost you. Seriously. No, seriously. We really didn't mean to. We lost you. Seriously. So seriously. smart. So, so smart. So sorry. So sorry. So sorry. They're, so smart. Brendan said it best. I'm sorry. They're pl- Dave and Connor are playing the same exact game Brendan and Rachel are playing. Brendan and Rachel are just playing it better. They are. Dave and Connor are just as. We covered. shall see. Well, sure. <laughs> we shall see. Maybe we should do some calligraphy and think about it, because that pushes us uh, right yeah. to the roadblock, where now. Brendan and Rachel are already there doing calligraphy, and of course, like we've been saying, Rachel's a little artist, so she's like, I'm going to nail this on the first try. And I'm gonna I like arts and crafts, Brendan. Brendan, I like arts Brennan. and crafts. <laughs> Brendan, I like arts and crafts, Brendan. Brendan. You sound too sober doing that. Um, so, w- um, here's well, the thing. It's 12, 12.30 here's... in the afternoon. Yeah, oh, <laughs> that's, that's true. true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, 
<laughs> so I love how Brendan is off to the side, being like, "Who's my little artist?" It's you. I'm, I'm artist? praying for you. I'm praying for you, Brendan. How am I doing, Brendan? I'm praying for you. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Brendan, Brendan, it's gold. I love gold. Yes, you do. Yes, I'm praying for you. Yes. And I don't know what Good. she did wrong either. Like I was on Rachel's side when the, when she like handed it to the monk, and he was like, "Nope." And then she was like, nothing's wrong, Brendan. She did her Rachel eyes. Nothing's wrong with it. And I agree with her, because when he finally approved it, and then I rewound to see what he denied, they looked exactly the same. Right. So that could feed into some of those, you know, rumors about how production doesn't want them to keep mm-hmm. getting it Or maybe just, maybe less attitude gets you farther, <laughs> you think, with monks. With with the monks. Less attitude the monks in the church, monks. don't you think, Dana? I think well, so. None of, none of them burned up in flames when they walked in, which was surprising. Really? I was waiting yeah. to see who would, like, poof, on fire. But then again, <laughs> we lost the gay already, so I think they're all mm-hmm. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Are we sure we've lost, lost the gay? Oh, yeah, maybe we didn't. There might be one left. There might be, allegedly. Um, so, this calligraphy challenge, what was with Dave and Connor's little hissy fit before they were walking in? Or wait, let's backtrack for one second. Well, did you like their whole mob mentality as they were all running to the challenge being like, we're going to kill Brenchel, we're going to kill Brenchel. I <laughs> like, know. Like, I, all that was missing were torches, like in Italy with all that beautiful like architecture. I could just uh-huh. see it like, we're going to kill him, we're going to get him, we hate him, we hate him. <laughs> and then, just like haters on yeah. Twitter, the second they get face-to-face with Brenchel, they're just like, nah, that was mean. Read my clip. <laughs> like they didn't do anything. They were just like, he was like, oh, that was really mean of you, Brendan. No, they're like, I'm gonna kill him. Oh, that was mean. That was it. That was the whole extent. So mean. Of Hashtag mean. Hashtag mean. But I didn't get the whole conversation between Dave and Connor, where he's like, no, you do it. No, you do it. No, I'm, I'm not artistic. No, I'm not artistic at all. No, you do it. I'm yeah. a man that got arthritis. I can't do it. You do it. I can't hold that thing still. I didn't get it. I didn't. I get was, you know what? I was on their side until I saw that temper tantrum, and I'm just like, okay, you know what? Maybe they are a little whiny about, you know, Brenchel detouring them. And they're 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 odd. They're odd. Yeah, they're odd, but you know, <laughs> I think they might be tipped off to like, hey, everybody wants you guys to win, so let's pull this together a little bit. So, yeah, come on, um, man, let's do this together. Oh yes. Yeah, exactly. Oh, by the way, John, breaking news. New viewer whose name is Exotic Latina. Ay, Dios mio. Says, hey, you guys are doing a great job. Love this channel. Love ya. Right ah, back at you. Zanata, chica. Mm-mah. Besitos. Yeah. Oh, ooh, that reminds me when we would always drive to the Mexican food. Oh, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> so, um... Oh, yeah. New York. Uh, okay, I mean... We have so much to talk about. Okay, so <laughs> let's talk about how Leo and Jamal can't figure out how to build the donkey. And now I'm going to give Dave and Connor credit here. They're like, we just need to flip since we have to do both. I'll let you talk one second. We're going to flip since you we have to do both. But when we come back, will you tell us what we're missing? Because nobody could figure out to put the crate on. And Dave and Connor are like, yep, we'll help you. <laughs> not only will we help you we will have solved it we will run to your challenge waste our time and yell to you how to solve it see what I was confused with the glove trotters talking to the guy where they're like how's this looking is this looking good how's this looking huh well, how's this looking yeah I will say I think I, 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 think I would have given him the clue, but what was that? What well, was I'm that? telling you. I'm telling you. <laughs> I mean, I, it's looking good. <laughs> I think it was another case of creative editing. I okay. think the Globetrotters were so far behind mm-hmm. at that point. Mm-hmm. They knew they had no chance mm-hmm. to win. So they lost all the pep in their stuff. Like, I think they knew they were out at that point. At that point, you're just tap dancing, right? Yeah, just to- right. Did not anybody notice the cameraman going like to the gates? 
like every time they're like, I don't know what's wrong. Everybody, they're like, do they well, not notice that? I always think like when that happens, it's like the cameraman's like hero sandwich is slipping. <laughs> so I just, like, mm -hmm. Ever since Reality Rally and I heard all of the background stuff, I can't stop thinking of that. But anyway, yeah, yeah Dana, I did notice that too. I always say that. I always do that on Survivor. Like, eating, like a salad or something. They get your hero sandwich, and that person on Survivor is just starving right there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is crazy. I don't get why people don't pick up on it at all. But I think when you're, I think they all think right now we basically only have two or three more legs or two or three more days from a million dollars. Like, hey. Could you imagine that stress level? We have like a one in five chance at a million dollars. Your brain, I couldn't even imagine what my brain would be doing with that. But if I was apparently Dave and Connor, I wouldn't have to worry about it. So, uh, allegedly, I'm just well, going with the yeah. weirdness. Um, okay, so then we see, like I said, Dave and Connor go back to help Leo and Jamal. Now, again, you're playing for a million dollars, but really that's kind of why I'm saying I think Dave and Connor won. Once again, they're getting this, oh, we're the heroes at it. We even can go back and help people and still make it. I just, I think all the clues are there to say that they won. Well, I was picturing like a red cape in back of like the dad, right? Like we know we detoured you, but let's do the puzzle together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks, Superman. Thanks, Super Old Man. I, if you guys want to see me give a ton of shit to Dave and Connor, I did not like them at all their first seasons. Uh, season, I believe I called him Stumble McCrutches, but it was back when I used to do the actual seven-minute mashups where I would just take the whole show and do a bunch of crazy stuff to it and do a voiceover. You can go back and watch those on our website and look at how horrible I was on them. I was cheering when he broke his ankle or foot or whatever he did his first season. Then. This is so over that. I can't imagine why people don't like you. Who doesn't like me? I got a chat room with people who are saying how much they love me, actually. So I don't know what you're talking about. Um, so, John, let me ask you this. The Afghanimals now are at the calligraphy challenge. They're sitting there doing it, and they finish, and now they're at the crossroads. Do so they return the favor to Dave and Connor, or do they leave and they return the favor to Dave and Connor? So there might be something to your whole sportsmanship thing here. After all, but I wouldn't be doing Dana, that. can you timestamp this right now? And <laughs> Eric is agreeing with me. Dana would know what to do. I'm looking outside for the pigs flying. Is there a red sky outside? <laughs> yes. If there was if there was a way to timestamp this, Dana's life would be a lot easier to do chapters. So Dana would be more annoyed to find out there's a timestamp feature, which there's not. Google, figure it out. I wish when we were watching the show I could click a button and mark something. But we can't. Um Yeah, so whatever. The Afghanimals end up helping Dave and Connor. Everybody makes it past the stupid calligraphy challenge. And they're all kind of racing to the finish line. Brendan and Rachel had already checked in. They made it first. Apparently, once again, nobody's helping country girls. So they're lost. You can't figure out where they're going. Um, Leo and Jamal made a correct turn. And they actually end up going from, like, fourth all the way into third. So let me just tell you how the teams checked in. Brendan and Rachel were first. Cowboys were second. Leo and Jamal third. Dave and Connor fourth. Country Girls fifth. And unfortunately, due to their non-moving donkeys, their problem with the stupid building, and having poor calligraphy skills, well, our Globetrotters are out. But they're requesting cookies and milk, I believe, if you ever go to their Globe Chatter games. And Sam, what did you think? John, were you happy with the outcome of the episode or not? No, because I like the Globe Trotters. They're so entertaining. So fun. I was mm -hmm. bummed. But you know what? I like anyone who is a good sport mm -hmm. and who finishes things that they start. 
Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. Well, what did you think of the episode, um, Dana? Overall, good, bad, ugly? It was good. I, I'm sad that the Globetrotters are gone, because I like them, too. Like, I kind of felt bad for the poor donkeys that they had to ride, because big flight time on a donkey, I mean. The one groaned, it was like, ugh. But I like them, and I, they're more competitive than, you know, like, a country girl, so I would have rather seen them stay in the race. Exactly. I feel the same exact way. Now, John, do you have like 10 more minutes if we want to talk a little bit reality rally or or is that good for you? Well, I mean, I I can talk for a little bit more, but I want to save all of our reality rally details for this Saturday for our first reality check show in like how many Exactly. Well, here's what I'm going to say, and I'm going to segue it this way. Cindy Jensen, our fave, is saying, WTF happened at or on the Reality Rally. John is all of a sudden hating Brenchel. No, Um, no. I don't know why you would say John is hating Brenchel. (laughs) No, Um, I um, don't hate Brenchel. I'm talking about the episode and the bad edit. Yes, the bad edit. Um, it's comedic, Cindy. It's comedic. Cindy knows. Well, let's put it this way. Maybe we do. We need to play into this. Maybe oh. we do not oh. like Branchel. Okay. And maybe you should turn in on Saturday night when we will reveal the edited version of John Racing. We will most likely, I think, have Helen here. Hopefully, we're going to have Michael here. Dana will be here. John, your cousin's not invited um, because there's too many people. And you can can invite her. Um, We're going to answer all of your questions. Anything you guys want to know about the Reality Rally, we'll fill you in on all the the behind-the-scenes stuff. And there was a lot. Um, Well, I'll put it this way. We had some Nick interactions, okay? We had some Nick interactions. We have to give people little teasers now, John. So I'm going to give them three teasers, then I'll let you give them some. So you think of them while I give them my three. Number one, we had some Nick Uhas interactions, which are very um, interesting. We'll get into detail. Number two, um, there might have been someone who propositioned me to go back to my room, didn't believe I was married, and I may or may not, and and thus may have resulted in me having to climb a hill in the mud to avoid said person. It's not a reality person. It is not a reality star. We'll talk more about that story on Saturday. Um, And then my third little bit of juicy gossip is, um, ooh, there's scandal over who came in first place during the reality rally, which of course you could go just back and watch all of our edited reality rally content, which is up now, yourrealityrecaps.com slash reality rally. But our show Saturday night at 7 p.m., which would be for your time, for Pacific. Is that when we're doing it, John? Yes. All right, so what are your little teasers for the people? What are what are oh you going to be talking gosh, about? Gosh, just... Uh, just footage on the race during the, the, the race, the reality rally race. Um, just stuff that happened, little interactions between us, deciding who's kind of going to kind of kind of kind of kind of who's going to do what. Um, the, 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 the stars, the, the people that I wanted to meet really bad and I got to meet and I become besties with one of them. Ooh, and I wouldn't say anything about her. Burp, 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 burp. Stay tuned. Uh, well, uh, oh, stay tuned. Um, he's talking about the mob wives. How do you like it? How do you like it every time with the <laughs> guess who the house, guess who's on our show and John ruins it? It's the not mob what I'm wives. talking about. Oh, well, that's true. They don't know what you're talking about. I guess about. you'll have to tune in as well, Curdo. It's true. I was not there for your house, your mob wife interview, but we also had an interview with an OC housewife, which was super amazing. Again, all that stuff is up already mm-hmm. on the website. Um... I have the stories that you all are also really going to want to know, like how John has to eat to go fast, to go drive through Mexican every day. It's California. Okay. It was little. No, there's no good Mexican in Seattle. I'm from Southern California. It has great Mexican food. Alberto's. Look, I will say this. It's fabulous. 
<laughs> it was so good. I <laughs> was ordering a quarter pound of guacamole <laughs> to dunk anything I could get into. So much so yeah. it like fell on our disgusting yeah. floor <laughs> somewhere. Not, don't say where. Right. Um, and I picked it back up and ate it. Another tidbit that I learned that, that last weekend was is Eric eats his feelings. So with guacamole. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, uh, he, he, no, you so know that's not true. I do eat my I feelings. I drink my feelings. Eric eats his feelings. <laughs> this is true. I 100% eat my feelings. But as John will tell you, we didn't have time to eat or sleep. We did, no, we did. Or night. hardly drink, yeah. I don't think you had one drink that whole time. Oh, I did. With my girls. <laughs> I did. Oh, I did. Oh, that's right. With your mob wives. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well... We are going to get into all of that this Saturday night. Oh, and by the way, we're going to be giving away a ton of stuff during the show, too. We have some Reality Rally stuff to give away. We have some of our own swag to give away. So you guys are going to want to make sure you tune in this Saturday night, 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific, for all of the the behind-the-scenes Reality Rally stuff, as well as the edited footage of John Racing and a lot of this. (laughs) They're not going to get it because I'm not. I can't do it. You're going to get it when they see it because it's pretty funny. And I didn't even notice it until you did it. And now I hate you more than ever. Uh, This is true. And keep in mind, people, Dana will be there, too. She knows all the drama from before we would go live because Dana was always, like, connected before we would go live. So excited Dana is going to be there because she's going to give even us some of the behind the scenes like that I didn't even know. So mm-hmm. it's going to be a great recap of Reality Rally from every type of perspective. I'm so excited for this Saturday show. Well, to be fair, um, and you did it to me for once, I was really unsure that we were 100%. Payback? Is this Payback show or is this The yeah. Amazing Race? Okay. I, I was sure. War- I was not sure we were doing a Saturday night show, so we didn't even ask Dana. Let's put her on the spot now live. Dana, will you be around on Saturday night at 7 p.m. Eastern? Uh, yeah. Okay, well, there you go. Dana will be here. Dana will be you, here. I thought you said Dana's name earlier with everyone. With who? You, and when you first announced the Saturday show, you said Dana. You included Dana's name in it. Oh, watch yeah, I did, because back. I would watch like this her to be back. back. Yeah. Be a little, be a little awkward he, he just assumes I have I have no life and I'm just going to be here for him whenever he mm-hmm. wants. That's all. Mm-hmm. This really, is true. Just taking this. your your this is your your online show wife that you're taking advantage of. It is. I don't have wives. I have husbands. <laughs> so you have a wife you have with a, with an S and <laughs> apparently a ban on the side in California. This is your... So, <laughs> so, I, I'm not going to say his name. Okay, so let's wrap up this show for this week. Of course, we will be back on Thursday for our Survivor show at 3 p.m. Eastern, noon Pacific. But John, do your outro. Hey guys, John Richardson here. Please, everything is comedic. Don't take me seriously. Um, you can follow me at Comedy Jonah. Thank you for watching. Go ahead, Dana. <laughs> Thanks for watching our uh, amazing race coverage, and can't wait to talk about Reality Rally on Saturday. And you can follow me on Twitter at dgoodyear1975. Buh, and read my blogs. Yes, I was going to say, check out Dana's blogs about Big Brother Canada 2 at yourrealityrecaps.com slash bbcan. Um, check out our Survivor and Amazing Race blogs, all of John's vlogs, video recaps for Amazing Race and, um, not Amazing Race, for RuPaul and all the Housewives, <laughs> my audio blogs. Everything is on the website. Just go to the homepage. Oh, there, There's go. pictures. There's, There's so much. Do it. Go. Just go do it and check out our patron campaign in the sidebar that really helps support us as well. Exclusive content and prize giveaways in there too. Okay, we will see you guys all on Thursday uh, for our Survivor show, then Saturday. And I'm sure John and I will both be live tweeting during all of the Housewives this week and such shorts. So we'll see you on Twitter before then. Bye, everybody. Hey, John, say bye. Bye, bye, bye.